for the new series of videos on short channel fx in mass transistor earlier in our channel i have posted 7 to 8 different videos on mass transistor all the video links are shared in the description box below once the working principle of mass transistor is clear we need to understand about the adverse effects that are associated in introducing a short channel mass transistor so let me just introduce a new term called short channel transistor in this particular video and later on in the next series of videos we will try to analyze each of the short channel effects in mass transistor before introducing the short channel transistor we should understand the motivation behind the introduction of short channel mosfets the economic and technical growth of the nano electronics era in the 20th century is remarkable by the evolution of advanced electronic gadgets and devices the advancement in the semiconductor industry has significantly driven larger portion of the productivity gains that have characterized the global economy since 1990s the most important part of this progress is due to the invention of different types of transistors and new materials the fabrication of integrated circuits has paved a new way for the industry people to begin with the revolution in nano electronics the phenomenal idea behind this nano electronics is the device scaling or you call it as the miniaturization which aids in increasing the speed increasing the number of components per chip at reduced cost the performance of all these nano devices has exponentially increased which was successfully anticipated by gordon moore in 1965 as per moore's law we understand that the number of transistors on an integrated chip would double every 18 months and his prediction continues even till now however with everlasting device downscaling the conventional transistors have contributed much towards the adverse undesirable effects in the device as the device dimensions continue to shrink the channel length reduces and the device becomes heedless to short channel effects before analyzing the adverse effects in mos transistor let us first understand when a mos transistor is considered to be a short channel transistor we have seen this cross sectional view of mos transistor earlier in our videos the same cross sectional view i have considered here to explain the short channel transistor mosfet is considered to be short when the channel length l is in the same order of magnitude of the depletion layer widths of source and drain so first let us understand the three different terms one is channel length the other one is depletion layer width of source and drain separately and you know that the depletion region of source is this side and the depletion region of drain is towards the drain end and the region width is marked as x suffix ds and at the drain end it is marked as x suffix dd which is the width of depletion region of drain side so dd and depletion region of source side width so it is ds and in between the depletion regions or the at the boundaries of source and drain depletion regions we have the channel length that is denoted by capital l when the summation of both the drain depletion region width and the source depletion region width is in the same order of magnitude of the channel length then you call the mass transistor as a short channel mosfet and also there is another interpretation when the channel length capital l is less than 1 micrometer then you call that as a short channel transistor and short channel effects starts dominating leading to undesirable effects at this stage in general the mosfets have the channel lengths to be greater than the sum of drain depletion and source depletion widths to avoid edge effects 
otherwise a number of short channel effects appear but these effects are related to cmos downscaling and channel or gate length has been one of the most significant parameters in device scaling higher drive current and faster circuits are achieved with smaller gate lengths also when circuits are made smaller the capacitance reduces thereby increasing the operating speed however as device dimensions are miniaturized many short channel effects such as velocity saturation mobility degradation channel length modulation punch through effect drain induced barrier lowering effect and hot electron effects comes into picture and these short channel effects imposes two important limitations one is on the electron drift characteristics in the channel and the other one is the threshold voltage modification hope you all must have got a clear idea on what is a short channel transistor when a mos transistor is said to be short and what are its adverse effects in the next few series of videos let us try to understand how these short channel effects are going to degrade the device performance and what limitations are there with respect to these short channel effects and let us also solve one or two problems related to short channel effects until then stay safe catch you all with a new series thank you all for watching this video through electronics insight channel